Thank you. So a wind advisory across the area, gusts of 50 miles per hour, took their toll on power lines and poles tonight. Thousands of outages, the majority of them in Fairfax, Montgomery and Prince George's counties. Jay Korf is live in Wheaton now with more on the impact of this storm system. Jay. Allison, the wind is howling out here and misery inducing almost lifts you off your feet when it really, really picks up. In fact, it caused some dangerous problems out here earlier this evening. The power lines just started blowing up. It was pretty crazy. These cars were still going by and people were still walking down the street. An electrical wire sparking above busy Georgia Avenue and Wheaton turned a windy night into a fearful one. Terrible, especially in those sparks. It's not safe to walk out here. For drivers, homeowners, and pedestrians like Jay Page. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I know it's really windy. These lines, like they're about to go pretty soon, too. I, I feel bad for the people over there. I don't know if they can get out of their house. Powerful wind gusts rolled in Wednesday night on the heels of a fast moving storm packed with ominous clouds that dropped buckets of rain on the region. Far more worrisome than the rain is the near relentless wind that caused a power line to come down on a sidewalk along the south side of Georgia Avenue, forcing lane closures and preventing residents from leaving their homes. It's extremely dangerous. With the wires arcing, if uh, they were to come down and touch somebody, it could be fatal. The sparks coming down when they hit, they burn. Myself and another officer got hit by them, so I can attest to that. And thankfully, just a short time ago, Pepco did come out here, turned off the power, so those lines are not arcing anymore. But because of these high winds, it remains to be seen how long it will take Pepco to repair the damage. Live in Wheaton, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Jay.